I was just getting ready to meditate and Blake brought me watermelon from the farmer's market and a beeswax wrap. <laughs> guys so just got out of the infrared as you saw and it was great um i love the way my skin feels after and just how i feel hi guys so i'm back i feel like this morning has been kind of like a non-event because i've been on the hunt for green juice all morning and okay not really i'm being dramatic but i just wanted fucking green juice no um so it's like it's almost 9 30 i'm back at my place and now it's grind time until I have class at 11. So I need to get done a few assignments. I'm not gonna work out today, which gives me more time to work on homework, which is kind of nice. But I'll definitely go get a green juice at that place. But right now I'm just gonna make some coffee. I, as you saw, I got the Stumptown one. It's nitro. I, my mom gave me all these Starbucks gift cards, so I feel like I need to go to Starbucks and get their nitro. Um, but the Starbucks downtown doesn't have it. So I'm like, annoying. I also got some nuts because I am going to show you guys how to make nut butter um, that doesn't have cashews or almonds in it. Um, and it'll still be really fucking good. And the reason I'm doing this is because I can't eat cashews or almonds. Um, because... It, they make me break out, which really sucks because you guys know how much I love nut butter. It literally is like half of my diet. So, but I did get some macadamia nuts, um, some walnuts, and some almonds. So, you can kind of see my little handful of nuts. Um, but what I'm doing is I preheated my oven to 375, and I'm going to put all of these nuts on a baking sheet. Um and wait until it preheats and then i'll roast them until they're fragrant which i'll tell you guys how long it is but it should be like 10 15 minutes 10 minutes and then i'm gonna put them in my vitamix um and just blend them a ton and you can do it in a vitamix you don't have to do it in a vitamix you can also do it in a food processor it really doesn't matter so yeah it's like an amazing thing to make and have on hand to have with your fruit or whatever as a snack This is a failed attempt at coconut whipped cream that I made because, you know, I want to try out the recipe before I give you guys one. So, it still tastes good. I just accidentally used the liquid and you're not supposed to. So, basically, it's just too liquid. Um, like, it's pretty damn liquidy. But, I'm not going to let it go to waste and it has, like, vanilla in it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of it in my coffee because it's good. All right, the oven just preheated to 375. I laid my nuts out and I'm just gonna put them in on the top shelf for around 10 to 15 minutes. But what you really want is them to be golden brown and fragrant and this will just cause once we put the nuts in the vitamix or your food processor or whatever it'll just make it so that the nuts blend easier okay before i make food i'm just gonna do a little bit of skincare oh this is about to be loud i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna do a little bit of skincare um 
not really just put on some moisturizer and I thought I would kind of just show you guys what I do I'm going to do a whole video on skincare um but again I think it honestly kind of just comes back to your diet and I think a plant-based diet and just like finding out what foods work for you like for me like I was having horrible breakouts for a while and we couldn't figure it out and then one day my mom was like Mary I think it might be the nuts that you're eating um but so like different people have different intolerances to different things um but I honestly think just like a clean diet um and combining foods in the right ways I'm not like die hard food combining but I do think that it plays a part um really helps for to optimize skin health um so as i was saying i just like to keep it really simple with my skincare that's how my skin does best um i have tried and tried to implement a 300 dollars skincare routine and have found no benefits from it um so i really just keep it simple um and again i want to do a whole video on skincare because i do have one thing that i like think completely changed my skin um that i do want to talk about but right now i'm just going to kind of show you guys what i just put on um so of course my laneige lip mask like i'm addicted to this stuff i will be the first to say it i absolutely adore it it's amazing um but what i just put on my skin is in my at my mom's um at, when i showered after i took the infrared sauna i just um washed my um face and then did my whole little routine that i'll talk about in the video um but just now i just put on this a cure um brightening day cream and it has chica and argon oil um 100 vegan vegan zero percent questionable it's just like really clean ingredients and i got this at the grocery store for i want to say maybe like i want to say ten dollars maybe less um and so you really don't have to spend a lot of money to have great skin it's all about finding what works for you but i think that stuff is amazing and then i also use the sunday riley auto correct um eye cream eye cream is like the one thing i actually like to invest in um just because i tend to get pretty bad under eye circles I think it's because I'm so pale and I don't really care to be tan um because I don't really want to do spray tans and stuff and put that stuff on my body um but please like if you know someone who does like amazing like clean spray tans in Iowa City please hit me up with that but so I like to do a little under eye cream with some more of that um but now I'm just gonna change and get ready for class and then I'll make some food and to show you how to make the nut butter. This is the best perfume ever. Le Labo Suntol 33. But it's like way overpriced. Um, but it's amazing. I'm like so obsessed with it. Okay, it's only been like seven minutes. And I already took the nuts out because they were getting like extremely fragrant. And as you can see, like... On the macadamia nuts the tops are getting a little bit brown and i don't want to burn them so i'm just gonna let them sit and cool off for about five to ten minutes and then we'll put them in the vitamix Okay, so we've got the nuts in my Vitamix and I'm just got it on like in between three and four. And I'm just gonna start kind of getting it going. Okay, so as you can see, I'm blending it. But it's not getting as creamy as I want it to be. And it, I wasn't expecting it to, honestly. So what I'm going to do is add in just a little spoonful, maybe about like a tablespoon or so, 
of Spectrum. It doesn't matter what brand. Mine is Spectrum. Coconut oil. Just to, um, this will just help break down like the nuts and just like, it'll make it pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of maple syrup, um, cinnamon and vanilla, but you need to add stuff um, like really gradually. Because, so I'm probably in total gonna add about um, a tablespoon or two of maple syrup, maybe just like a tablespoon. Yeah, and, but I'm just gonna add like half of it and then I'll start pulsing. And then I'll add the other half in a second. Okay, I just added a few dashes of cinnamon and a half full of vanilla. That is totally up to you how much of that stuff you like. Now I'm just gonna add in a little bit of sea salt as the final ingredient. Just to bring out the flavors of everything. Because the nuts I bought were non-salted, they were raw. Okay, I've got to go to class, but I thought I'd just show you guys what I'm wearing really quickly. So I'm just wearing these Adidas tennis shoes. I don't know what they're called. And then I'm wearing these high socks because I thought it was kind of cute to wear with the tennis shoes. I don't know, not usually my vibe, but I'm feeling it. And then just this little um, jean-ish dress that's actually from Abercrombie. And the reason I got it is because it reminds me of in Monte Carlo, that movie, Meg, the character, she wears a dress like this when she's like going to get on the Vespa with that dude. <laughs> and so that's why I got it. And I love it because it makes me feel like that. <laughs> also, I have a little like salad dressing container thing that's filled with some of my nut butter so that I can eat it while I'm in class. And a coffee. And I gotta go. Okay, it's a little while later and I changed because I hated my outfit. Um, I felt like a boy. Sometimes like if I wear a collared shirt and then this little like low bun, I just think that I look like a little bit like a boy. I don't know, I'm not like looking for validation. Well, actually I am, tell me I look like a boy. No, but, um, so I just changed into this sweater and then just some Lulu leggings that I DIY'd and cut off because I think like the raw hem looks cool on the little leggings. Like, yeah, you can go get them hemmed, but the raw hem is fun and flirty and fresh. Um, so, so I'm gonna make a salad because I'm hungus. Um, and I have an appointment at two. So it's like 1.30 now. And I'm using my big salad bowl from Target. It's the best thing I've ever purchased, I would say. Um, because I use it almost daily. Oh shit, my camera's about to die. All right, well, while I make my salad, you kind of know the drill, so I'll charge you. Hi guys. So I'm sitting here editing and I realized I completely forgot to end off the vlog. Um, so I thought I'd just end it off here, but if you have not already done so, please hit this with a subscribe below and hit me with a follow on Instagram. And I will see you guys on Friday for my next vlog.